And this table is set up straight in front of a wall hanging, um, a tapestry called Bison Gate, which comes to the same um, thematic of the prairie as something that was waiting for the return of their kin, the bison. Um, these are sourced from photographs that Barkhouse took at Wanuskewin. You can see here that this is the Opimaha Valley. The creek is in the background. This is a panoramic photo. And all of these bison um, are, are taken from different source photographs that she took, including here, we actually have Ernie Walker um, in the release of the original five bison to the land. Oh, worth, for those who don't get the reference, the gate is from Stargate which is a portal that travels uh, through space and time. This is how, um, so this idea of, of the bison coming in through time, as when Escalin itself being a portal through time because of all of these traces of human habitation. Around the borders, we have a bunch of different um, global uses of the bison. So these are from uh, prehistoric cave paintings in France. This is the skull of a megalithic bison from the Ice Age, who is the largest mammal of, to ever um, exist on Turtle Island. We have some, some ferrets. We have um, a tongue-in-cheek kind of reference to the medieval manuscript here. And different, different sorts of wildlife, moths, burrowing owls. Over here on the edge, we have um, a direct reference to a medieval tapestry called the Unicorn in Captivity, which is the final, we suppose, final installment of the Unicorn Hunt tapestries. We don't know who the author was, but they seem to be from about the, um, the 15th century. The Unicorn in Captivity, you can see, has a beautiful collar on and is surrounded by a really short gate. And in this case, Barkhouse has even removed a segment of that enclosure, implying that the unicorn could leave. Um, if, if he were so inclined. You can also see that that's right next to the blonde bison or the white bison, depending on, on your spiritual um, perspective. Um, the question that interests Barkhouse about the unicorn and the bison is if they had successfully been eradicated, as was the intention in the 19th century, would we now think of bison in the same way that we think of unicorns? So we've set this up to be kind of the dining room. Um, if we picture a medieval castle, wall hangings were traditionally used to keep the walls warm. And then they were done in this elaborate way as opposed to wallpaper or, or wall paint. You would just create these elaborate textiles, which is what the unicorn hunt would have been used for as well.